the pediatric nurse is summoned to a room by the parents of a two-year-old child. The peripheral IV line has been removed by the patient. When starting a new line, the nurse carefully chooses placement. The nurse should attempt to start the IV dash. A. As proximal as possible. B. As distal as possible. C. As medial as possible. D. As lateral as possible. E. As ipsilateral as possible. The answer is B. As distal as possible. Most peripheral IVs are started in the right or left arm. Distal to the arm would mean closest to the fingertips. When starting an IV, always start looking for potential sites closest to the fingertips and work upwards. If a vein is punctured and becomes unusable, it is possible to move above the previous attempt and start a successful IV. Jane is a 49-year-old woman who has recently had a peripherally inserted central catheter, PIC, placed. The nurse is teaching Jane how to flush her PIC. She knows that the teaching was effective when Jane states which of the following? A. I will use a 3 ml syringe or larger to flush my PIC line. B. I will use a 10 ml syringe or larger to flush my PIC line. C. I will use a 30 ml syringe or larger to flush my PIC line. D. I will use a 20 ml syringe or larger to flush my PIC line. E. I will use a 1 ml syringe or larger to flush my PIC line. The answer is B. I will use a 10 ml syringe or larger to flush my PIC line. One should always use a 10 ml syringe or larger to flush a PIC line. Smaller syringes place greater pressure on the line which could result in damage. For example, a 3 ml syringe places greater pressure on a PIC line than a 5 ml syringe. The pediatric nurse must convince a 4-year-old boy to take his medication. Which phrase is the most acceptable? A. Your mother and I need you to take your medicine now. B. Will you please take your medication for us? C. If you don't take your medicine now, you will need to take a time out. D. If you take your medicine, I will give you a soda pop. E. It is time to take your medicine. It tastes just like candy. The answer is A. Your mother and I need you to take your medicine now. When convincing a child to take medicine, be straightforward and clear. Try not to offer the child a choice, as they likely won't take it. Stay away from using bribery, punishment, or comparing medicine to candy. Be honest about the taste of the medicine or risk losing the trust of the child. When performing a blood transfusion, which of the following procedures should not be adhered to in order to ensure safe delivery of blood product to the patient? A. Positively identify the patient identification. B. The tubing should be of a Y type to allow for fluid and blood product simultaneous infusion. C. The blood should be administered with isotonic solutions such as lactated ringers. D. The preferred gauge of the needle should be between 18 to 20 gauge to allow for improved flow. E. Blood must be used within the first 30 minutes of arrival to the unit. The answer is C. The blood should be administered with isotonic solutions such as lactated ringers. All are true except for the use of lactated ringers this may cause a hemolytic reaction, only normal saline 0.9% is utilized. A nurse is teaching a mother how to administer nystatin to her two-month-old child in the treatment of oral candidiasis. Which of the following is an appropriate instruction given by the nurse to the mother? A. Place the medication in the child's bottle. B. Apply to the mouth using a cotton-tipped applicator. C. Give the medication before meals. D. Use a syringe to squirt the medication to the back of the mouth. E. Rinse the mouth post-administration.
The answer is B. Apply to the mouth using a cotton-tipped applicator. Apply medication to the mouth using a cotton-tipped applicator. Give the medication after meals and avoid rinsing the mouth. The medication should have contact with the mucosa without being washed away. Do not place the medication in a child's bottle, they may refuse to eat due to the bitter taste of the medication. Do not use a syringe to squirt the liquid to the back of the mouth since the child will likely spit it out.